Hello friends, hope you are having a fantastic day today. So once again, we are going to solve an awesome lead code problem. So without any delay, let's get started. So today we are going to solve daily temperatures lead code problem. That is a medium problem and also an extremely well like lead code problem. So the problem statement is quite simple. We are given an integer array called temperature that represents the daily temperature over a certain span period. Now we need to return a new answer from this given temperature array such that any particular item in that particular answers array should define that how many number of days you have to wait in order to generate a warmer temperature compared to uh, that particular day's temperature. So let's try to understand this with an example. Suppose this is the temperatures array we are given. Now in the input you can see that bunch of different values for every single day's temperature. Now if we see on this very first day, the temperature is 73, which means how many number of days we have to wait in order to get a warmer day? Well, a warmer day is right next, which means if we just wait one more day, we can actually get a warmer day. Same way for 74, if we just wait one more day, we also get a warmer day because next day's temperature is 75. Now at this 75, if we have to find a warmer day, then we have to find a day that contains higher temperature than 75, which means this temperature 76 is higher, which we can see that that is actually four days away. So over here, we will have to actually wait four days in order to get a warmer day. Same way for the 71, we have to wait two days in order to get a warmer day. At position 69, we only have to wait one day to get a warmer day. At 72, once again, we will have to wait just one day because next day is 76, which is warmer. So at the 76, we do not find any particular warmer day subsequently, which means we cannot find a warmer day. So we are just going to mark this as zero that no warmer day exists in front of the value 76. And last one is 73. So since this is the very last entry, we don't know what the upcoming temperatures looks like. So we are also going to return zero. And this is the answer array that we need to return. Uh, that defines the temp days you have to wait in order to get a warmer day from any particular day. Okay, so first let's try to understand a brute force approach to solve this problem. The idea is very simple. We simply go to a day and then we keep on iterating the array until we find the next day that has higher temperature. The moment we find this one, we actually find the difference between the index positions and whatever the difference is, we mark that in the answer. So for this first one, we can mark first as the answer. For the second one, once again, we are going to repeat the same process. We are going to iterate over every single value inside the array till we find a higher value and which we find two days later. Same way we are going to keep on repeating the same operation and eventually we would have our entire answer array to be populated. Now this is the most simplest method but we can inherently see some issues with this approach. The number one issue is that at any given position we will actually have to traverse over maybe the entire rest of the array in order to find the optimal solution. What if uh, let's assume that this instead of being 50 maybe this was 80 and we don't have any particular solution in mind we would have still iterated over the entire array and then once again in order to find the lower temperature for this next element we would still have to iterate over the entire given array maybe this was 82 so in this this case this is an inefficient approach and if we see time complexity for brute force approach is going to be big o of n square in the worst case scenarios so let's try to see if we can improve upon this time and space complexity or not the thing is at this given location, at the very first moment, we don't know that what is the temperature that is uh, higher than this one because we have only iterated this one element, right? But what if we are at this element, we can at least predict that how many elements actually has lesser temperature than this and based on that, we can immediately update their temperature and we can immediately say that for if we are at let's say value number 75, then at 75, we should be able to tell that 74 is only one day away from uh, having its warmer day. And same way at 74, we should be able to tell that 73 is actually just one more one day away from having a warmer day. Same way at 72, we should be able to tell that 69 is only one day away. So how can we actually do that? For that, we will have to find some way to actually iterate the array in one direction note that what the current temperatures are 
and based on that we will also have to check that what are the immediate temperatures that are actually smaller than this current temperature or greater than this current temperature so that we can mark their answers in order to do that we will have to use an extra data structure to store the values of all the temperatures for which we have not been able to find the warmer days second thing is for any particular temperature not only we will have to find the warmer day we will also have to find like the immediate warmer day so for this 74 5 is actually greater than both 74 and 73 but we should not waste our time marking the 73 as having a warmer day as 75 because there is 74 that is more closely associated with 73 which means we have to worry about the immediate before elements so we are traversing in one direction but the at the very quickly we will have to understand that what was the last item we were at before moving to any particular previous elements so the best data structure in this case is going to be a data structure that contains the property of last and first out and the answer becomes very simple that we are actually going to use a stack to solve this problem now how we are going to use the stack is actually quite interesting let's first understand couple of properties number one thing is we are using the temperature to compare the difference between any two given values which means we are dealing with the value of this given array but in the answer we need to store that how many number of days are apart between any two entities and that we can find using the index values why because at index value 0 we have this value 73 and at index value 1 we have this value 74 which means 70 uh, index value 0 is only one day away from finding a warmer day because index value 1 minus index value 0 becomes actually va value number 1 so this is how we are going to find the answer which means in the stack it would make more sense to store the index positions rather than storing the actual values but using the index positions we can very quickly look up inside the array find the answer and then subsequently traverse the answer so after this long explanation let me walk through the solution that i'm proposing so currently we are at 0th index the value is 73 currently we don't have any value inside the stack so we are going to uh, add index 0 inside the stack okay and now we are at index position number one the value is 74 the very first thing we are going to do is we are going to check that whether the value located at 0th position which means the value located at temp of 0 if that is actually less than the current index positions we are at so if that is less than the temp of 1 which is correct condition because this one was 73 and this is 74 which means 70 this value can be popped out of the given stack and we can actually mark the answer for this one by doing the subtraction between the current element minus the index position that we just kicked out from the stack so this is going to be just one where we did a simple equation one minus zero okay now we are going to put 74 in the stack but we are going to put the index value so now in the stack we have index position number one now once again we are at index position number two so this value is 75 75 is a greater than 74 which means we can do 2 minus 1 and the answer is 1 so we can store that that uh, 74 is one day away from finding a warmer day now we popped out 1 from the stack now let's add entry, entry number 2 inside the stack okay now we are at this position 71 so currently 71 is actually smaller then 75 which means we don't for 75 we have not yet found a small a uh, warmer day so we are going to add entry number three inside our stack as well next we are going to be at position number four which is 69 once again 69 is actually uh, less than the current top value we have inside the index which means we haven't found a warmer day for this top element and we are going to add one more element uh, that we haven't found a warmer day for okay now we are at position number 72 so 72 is actually greater than this value the value at index number four so we can actually uh, find the answer for index number four so let me just go okay so this is for index number one zero we have one we have for two we don't have for three we don't have but for four we found the value that is five minus four so we can add one as the answer for index number four once again, when the moment we pop out index number 4, 
we should not be pushing index number five yet because we still have to check that whether five is greater than index number three and yes it is once again greater so for index number three we are going to mark the answer as two and same way for index number two we are also going to mark the answer as uh so sorry for index number two we are still not able to be able to find the answer because this is 75 and this is 72 so we are going to have index number two still living inside the stack and then we will have index number five now residing in the stack now we are at index number six so this value is 76 76 is actually greater than 72 and so in this case we can actually mark down the answer over here as one for this index number five and we can get rid of this index number five now once again this index number two is also smaller than index number six so we need to do the difference six minus two so we find answer four and we are going to populate answer four over here and then we have an empty stack which means there are no more values we need to check so we are going to add value number six inside the stack and then in the end uh, next value is value number seven so seven is 73 73 is actually smaller than the current stack value we have so we are also going to add value number seven inside the stack and the moment we reach to the end we are going to fill out all the rest of the elements by zero that there are zero days that we have been able to find the answers for and this is what we can return in the answer so you see how using a stack we actually need to traverse over just once on the given temperature array and then we have been able to find the answer which means this is a much better approach and this is the optimal solution compared to our brute force solution so let's try to see the time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big o of n because we are simply iterating over the temperature array once now it could be possible that for some values we might have to go back and find the values that are smaller than that that where we are doing multiple operations inside the stack but that that number Number is going to be limited because we are being told that we can find out that how many values are there and uh, we are only iterating over the values for which we haven't find the answer and uh, in terms of space complexity once again in the worst case scenario this is going to be big o of n because we are using an additional space uh, additional stack to find the answer So the coding solution is actually quite straightforward. First, we initialize a number n in order to mark down the length of the given array. Then we initialize a new answer array of the size n. We also initialize our stack that we are going to use. Now we simply iterate over the given temperatures array using the for loop. We first have a while loop condition that while the given st stack is not empty and the temperature that we are iterating over currently if that is greater than the temperature that is currently present inside the stack then we simply mark the index value that is currently present at the very first element of the stack that we popped out and then we mark the answer index by doing the subtraction of i minus the current index position that we have just been able to find by popping the element out of the stack and then uh, we simply push down the element inside the stack and in the end, our answer array should have all the answers. So we can simply return that. Now let's try to run this code. Okay, seems like our solution is working as expected. Let's submit this code. And our code runs pretty fast compared to most of the other solutions. It is also decent in terms of space complexity. And once again, the solution is available on our GitHub repository. The link is in the description. So you can check it out from there. Thank you.